And going back to school is more high tech than ever as well. Students are tech savvy, but now teachers are catching up. CBC's Magda Geber Selassie takes us back to a class where teachers are the students. A notebook and a pen or pencil. This is what you used to need for back to school supplies, but times have changed. But now, no matter where I move the iPad. Now, iPads, smartphones, and laptops have infiltrated the classroom. We have to flip the classroom. It's a, it's a different age, it's a different student than it was 10 years ago, and now we have to meet their needs. Doug Sadler is the tech savvy vice principal at St. Joseph Catholic High School. At his school, they use iPads, and now he's helping teachers at other schools learn how to use them. We're not using it just for the sake of having it. We're using it because it's going to make learning more engaging. With that in mind, these teachers let their creative juices flow, making movies and music. This teacher said it would be a great tool to show students how to play an instrument. You're going to play a scale on the guitar. You can really examine it and uh, explore what it's supposed to sound like. Catholic school board officials say most of their schools have access to this type of technology. Funding from the board, the Catholic School Council, as well as grants have made this possible. Last year, St. Joseph's had a Future Shop grant. Uh, I believe it was worth $50,000. And this past year, Catholic Central received a Future Shop grant. This year, St. Joseph will launch a Bring Your Own Device program. Students who own tech tools can use their own, while others will have prime access to the school supply. We want to see if this is the direction we want to go. If the pilot project proves there's a lack of equal access to technology after school ends, school board officials say they'll have to look at ways to rectify that. Educators say by using iPads and other devices, their goal is to move towards paperless, not paper-free. So it seems that notebooks have a place in the classroom, at least for now. Mark de Gebrselasse, CBC News, Windsor. And speaking of technology, we were curious to see how much some of you spent on back.